Almost all the camera brands have different camera mounts for different kinds of lenses. Both full frame and APS-C mount lenses are separate from one another. And if someone wants to use full frame lenses on APS-C cameras or vice versa, it would require an adapter for that. But Sony has revolutionized the camera mount system and introduced the one mount for all of its lenses. But is it as good as it sounds? And how is the one mount strategy putting Sony ahead in the competition? All these are going to be discussed in this video. So with that being said, let's dive into the video. One of the main advantages of the one mount is its versatile usability. You can seamlessly use the E-mount lens on both APS-C and full frame cameras. In some cases, you can get the benefit of using two cameras in one. For example, suppose you are going on a landscape adventure with your Sony A7R4. So you can take along with you the 70-350mm f4.5-6.3 to super telephoto lens which is basically a crop sensor lens and weighs only 625 grams. Just imagine if you had to carry a full frame lens like the FA24 to 105mm f4 G OSS lens which weighs around 663 grams. Just think how much weight you had to carry if you were to use a full frame lens on a full frame camera. However, when you are using the 70 to 350 APS-C lens, you might have to drop the resolution at your A7R4 camera to 26 megapixel, which is moderately good for landscape shooting. Moreover, Though it is an APS-C lens, when you are shooting at the widest angle of the lens, it's only when you zoom in, you will get a cropped frame. Apart from that, when you shoot action scenarios like a sporting event, you will get tons of benefits. Using the 70-350mm APS-C lens to the A7R4 and switching to crop mode will instantly increase the performance of Sony A7R4 camera. It increases the buffer to over 300 images. The rolling shutter effect also becomes less visible. So in short, you will reap the benefit of having both an APS-C and a full frame camera. And the tail just doesn't end there. You can also use the E-mount lenses on Sony's professional camcorders. So whether you are just starting your photography with a Sony APS-C camera or want to upgrade to Sony full frame or intending to buy a Sony cinema camera, the E-mount lenses has always got you covered. The E-mount lets you use both APS-C and full frame lenses on both Sony APS-C and full frame cameras and it doesn't require any adapter in between. There are many camera brands that allow for using full frame lenses on APS-C mounts but they usually require an adapter. However, when you are upgrading your camera system, lenses become a major concern. For example, you are using a Canon EOS M series APS-C camera with a bunch of EFS mount lenses. And if you now want to use RF mount lenses, which are of better quality than the EFS mount lenses, there is literally no way of using them on EOS M series APS-C cameras. Alternatively, if a Canon APS-C camera user switches to a more advanced R series full frame camera, they can't use the EF mount lenses directly. Rather, they have to use an adapter for that. But Sony has a competitive edge in this case over Canon as Sony users don't have to bother about mount and camera format. So whether you are using a full frame camera or an APS-C camera, you can use the same lens on both the cameras without bothering about lens adapter and other complications. Usually, when we use a lens adapter, there is a possibility that the overall performance of the images we took will drop. It is always better to use native lenses without any converter or adapter. Sony's one mount approach allows you to eliminate the adapters and freely use the E-mount lenses on Sony's full frame APS-C professional camcorders and cinema line cameras. So there is no lag in usual performance and no autofocus issue. So the user experience is greatly enhanced by the one mount system. So far, we have talked about the user's point of view. From the company side, Sony now has only one mount to focus on. 
Rather than developing a series of different mount lenses, investing and developing a single mount is always easier. Moreover, it also helps to minimize customer dissatisfaction, which we have seen among the Canon APS-C users for not being able to use RF lenses. So that was all about Sony's one mount strategy. It has made the whole mount system easier for the users, ensured better performance and versatile usage of Sony's E-mount lenses. Overall, it has been a sensible move for Sony to take its lenses and cameras one step further in the competition with the one mount approach. So what are your thoughts about Sony's one mount strategy? Let us know in the comment section.